Hello, welcome to our video on call activities using BPMN. If you are interested in learning more about BPMN, please subscribe to our channel as we routinely create new videos. In this short tutorial, we will describe how you can use the call activity within your process. In the model I am building, I am describing the steps for moving cargo in our transportation network. As I build this model, I want to share a few key points on how you can use call activities. Number one, call activities can be used when a task or activity is shared in your organization. In this example today, we will show how the call activity, verified tariff rates, is shared by other processes. And number two, as I right click on the activity, I can select Call, which then changes the appearance of the activity with a bold, thick line. Number three, call activities must identify the unique data requirements the call activity must fulfill. The call activity, when executed, will verify the tariff rates, not just our process, but when called by other processes. So to visualize the uniqueness of our process, we visualize the specific data input required to complete the call activity and the data output we expect to receive to complete our process. We use the data object to show the data input location details and the data output from the call activity location tariff rates. A key reminder, make sure to use the association notation to connect your data object. For us, modeling with call activities are important. Our processes are filled with tasks that are shared. This is especially true for a lot of our service-related activities. As you sit back and reflect on this short introduction to call activities, please share your thoughts in the comments section below of call activities that are shared in your organizational processes. Thank you again for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.